so hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so into this particular video we'll be discussing about the frequently most commonly asked sql interview questions which you can expect into the very first screening round so still you don't want to get these questions wrong into your initial round so in this particular video i have a set of problems and these are some of the most FAQs questions onto the SQL. Without much further ado, let's quickly move to our SQL Server Management Studio and then let's start solving the problems. But before that, don't forget to hit the like button if you like or found this video quite useful. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information. Let us get back to our screen. So, everybody, let us see the very first question here. So, these are some of the very common interview questions which are generally asked into the fresher into the experience roles also so let us see what is the very first question so write the sql query to get the third maximum salary of an employee from the table named employee so friends we have got some dummy data set here i've created a dummy data set i'll be attaching all of these codes into the description box of this video and you can access these codes from there so basically what we want to get is write the sql query to get the third maximum salary of an employee from the table numbers employee now there are many ways to solve this particular problem and the interviewers they will confuse you uh, like uh, you can you do like this can you do like that particular way but i'll be discussing two of the most important and common ways to solve this particular problem so let us go to my excel sheet where i have displayed this so you can see i have the employee name and the salary now what do i want into the question so into the question they want us to get the third highest salary the third highest salary we want to get now how to approach this particular problem let us discuss that so first of all uh this is our data set what i'll do is the very first step here what i would like to do is i would like to sort my salary onto the basis of the highest to lowest so i'll sort on the basis of salary and uh, i'll sort here and i'll sort from largest to smallest so this is the very first thing the very first query which i'll be writing into my sql server management studio to sort the particular table onto the descending order onto the basis of the salary so you can see my salary has been sorted now after this what is the further thing i which i'll be do, doing i'll be then filtering out the top three salaries or top three rows uh, per people who are having the top three salaries so i will be filtering out this particular data set after this i'll be doing what will be something like after this i'll be sorting out the data which i have extracted from the top three salary onto the basis of the ascending order of the salary so i'll be sorting by onto the basis of ascending order so you can see the salary has been sorted onto the basis of ascending order and from this particular output whichever we have got i'll be getting the top one row so as you can see this is the third highest salary from the group of the people which we are having if we are having some confusion i'll be showing you how we are referring this to be the third highest salary i'll hit enter using the rank function i'll be you know getting the third highest salary i'll get the rank for this particular column and you can see the third highest salary is by the employee name as h and the salary is 50000 so let us apply the same logic what we have discussed here into the sql query and let us formulate that into the sql server management studio so we i have inserted the same data here i'll be running this code select star from employees we have got the data set here so the very first thing which we were supposed to do is select star from employees order by salary onto the basis of the descending order so that is what was the second step what we have done so you can see this was my data set he from here i have i have sorted out onto the basis of the descending order on the salary let us execute this particular command here let us see what is the output which i am getting okay telling is wrong 
I'll execute it once more. So you can see I'm getting I have sorted out it in the descending order. Now from this I wanted to extract the top three people who are having this salary. So basically the top three rows which I want to extract. So simply I'll just write top three and I'll execute the code and you can see I've got the top three people who are having the highest salary here. Now I would want to now order this into the descending order. So what shall I do for this? I'll put this into the sub query. Now this particular output which you are seeing onto your screen, this will act as a table for me. And from this particular table, what do I want? So I want to, you know, select star from the table and I'll order by onto the basis of salary. And it should be into the ascending order as I discussed. You can see here onto my Excel sheet, I've ordered this onto the basis of the ascending order. That's it. And I'll execute this particular command right now. You can see it has been sorted onto the basis of the ascending order onto the basis of the salary. After this, I would want to extract just the top row to get the third highest salary. So I'll just write here top one star. And you can see we have got the employee who is having the salary the third highest salary from the employee table now friends i hope you have enjoyed uh this particular logic which i have provided here now what if let us dig a bit deeper into this particular question what if the interviewer asks okay so this is the third highest salary what if there are let's say thousand employees into the uh company and you want to get the 50th maximum salary or 50th highest salary so just imagine how many sub queries we'll have to write here this was a very simple question we just wanted to extract the third is salary so it was very simple for us just using a single sub query but in that case you just imagine how uh, you know cumbersome it will be to extract the you know 40th highest salary or the 50th highest salary so similar kind of question how to find the ns nth highest salary in sql for this, we have a very interesting function in SQL built-in function, which is the rank function. I've discussed this a lot of many times into my other videos as well. So I'll just write rank over order by salary and I'll order it onto the descending order from this particular table that's it i'll execute the particular command and you can see a new column would be added with rank now i'll put a sub query here and from the output which i've got i'll be extracting the rank three so the employee which is having the rank as three so select star from this where the rank is equal to three so friends i'll execute this particular query and you can see i've got the same output i'm getting the output where the third is salary i'm getting so instead of three you can give any number i can give here as the first so let's say i want to get the maximum salary of the employee uh so i'll be getting the answer so where rank is equal to one so where you can put rank is equal to n so whichever salary higher salary you want you can get using this particular query what if you want to start from the lowest so instead of descending i want to sort it or provide the rank onto the ascending order so i'll just write here ascending that's it and it will provide so this particular query what do you think what shall this give me it will give me the lowest salary of the employee as you can see verify from the you know the excel sheet also so seventh is the rank and you can see twenty one thousand is the lowest salary of the given set of employees so friends this is how we have solved the nth highest salary in this into the sequel so probably you might be asked this particular question so there are 70 80 percent chances that uh, if you're fresher you're just breaking down into the analytics domain so this is a very common interview question into the round one let us move forward to the next question here and uh, that is removing duplicates from rows in SQL. So what do we mean this? Let us see into the Excel sheet in detail. So friends, do you see any duplicate uh, data which is present here into multiple rows? 
Yes, I can see, and you can just verify these two rows are just saying the same thing, and they are duplicates in nature. So we want to write a particular code to remove the duplicates from this particular table. Now, what if I wanted to do the same thing into the? Ah, uh, okay, I found one more duplicate. Is it? Yes, it is a duplicate. So what if i wanted to do the same thing into the excel so what should i be applying that's a benefit of watching my videos you get to learn sql and excel simultaneously so basically you are preparing in just one time frame you are preparing for multiple concepts into the sql and the excel so if i wanted to do the same thing into the excel i would go to data and remove duplicates and you can see i have removed the duplicates from here so all of those duplicate rows have vanished okay let us do the same thing here into the sql so i'll do a select star from table and you can see i'm having the same data set which i displayed onto the excel sheet now here what would i want to get i want to remove the duplicate rows so can use the same logic which i've done here into the sql as well let us do that so i'll just write here select distinct so it's basically i want to get the distinct rows here so i'll just copy this a distinct of uh, this from table that's it let us execute this query here select this and i'll execute this you can see i'm um, getting the output the same output which i have gotten to the excel and the duplicate rows have been removed as you can see this entry is coming only once and similarly if the the last entry uh, is coming only once so friends this is how we have solved this particular problem now if you would just think did i solve it right was this required into the problem here so the question is something different if you would just uh, clearly see it is telling me to remove duplicate rows in a sql so i want to get rid of the duplicate rows so basically the output which i want is simply the rows which are not duplicating into my data set so this is the output which i actually wanted and we'll be seeing here how we'll be achieving to get this particular output as you can see onto your screen okay friends so how do we get this particular output so the first thing what i'll be doing here is i'll be using the group by function here so i'll so what will be the logic which i'll be applying so the logic will be somewhat like select this comma count of id from table i'll be doing a group by onto the basis of the three columns here what do you think what will be the output which i'll be getting let us execute this so you can see on grouping by i'm getting the output so basically it is giving me the count of the ids into this particular group uh let me just simply explain so so you can see both of all so you can see all the three uh, rows which were present here they don't have any duplicate so basically if we do a count i will be getting one but these two rows they are you know kind of duplicate so when i group by these are basically repeating two times so i'll be getting two here and uh, similarly for this entry as well i'll be getting a two here now friends oh what you can see here is i'm getting the same output now can we apply a condition here where i want to get only those groups where the count is equal to one simply that's the logic can i apply that or not so in that case i'll be filtering out those particular rows where the values are in duplicating and i'll be getting the output of these three rows if that is the case let us see how to do this so simply i'll be applying the having clause here so having what so having count of id in the group that should be equal to one that's it 
it is required i'll execute this particular query and you can see i am getting the answer here i'm getting the right answer here and i'm getting only those rows where it is not duplicating or the values have not been duplicated i'll execute this and you can see i'm getting only those values so friends this is also very common interview questions because this tests a lot of your fundamentals and basic sql concepts so i hope you're enjoying this particular video so do like this video and also share to the relevant folks to whom you think this video will be useful and also don't forget to subscribe my channel so let's move to the next question okay so the next question is also quite interesting and a very very common interview question uh okay we have solved the question number is three this is the fourth question here okay so we want to extract the username from email let us move to sheet three so you can see a set of email ids present here and the name of the employee and their email id so basically what do we want is i want to extract the username from the email id so username is basically all those characters which are before the at the rate sign the logic of this particular question will be something like to get all the you know uh letters or characters before the at the rate sign so if we somehow get the character index or the index at which the at the rate sign is present into all of these different email ids and before that if we extract all the characters value we will be sorted okay so if you somehow get let's say the at the rate sign let's say it is present at the fifth character value so from one to four the username is present so do you agree or not okay so this was some so from one to four the the username of the email id would be present so i'll be applying the same logic here into the sql server management studio let us create the table first i'll be you know inserting all of these queries into the description box of the video from where you can just get a uh, fetch the questions and start solving them you can post your alternative solutions also into the comment box of this video which will help me as well as the other people who are uh, planning to give interviews or who are trying to solve the sql concept so the more variety of solutions the more help it will be for the other people as well so you don't forget to comment down your solution for each of the problems which are being discussed here so let us start solving this particular problem so the care index function okay so you can see we have used the character index function to get uh, the character index of the at the rate symbol into all of these email ids so let us verify if the first output which we have got is correct or not so let us get the very first email id so one two three four five six seven and eight so you can see that the eight index position we are getting the at the rate sign so here we have solved half half of the problem let us solve the next set of problems here so basically let us use the left function here and from the email ids i want to get from the very first so left function basically get the characters from the leftmost side of the particular you know column so i have the email id column so it will fetch i want to get the username and username generally starts from the leftmost side so i'll be using this particular function so the email and basically this is the character index of the at the rate so i want to get the characters before the at the rate so i'll be doing a minus one here to get the relevant characters i will execute the code and you can see magic is here and into the output i have got all the username of the particular employees into the output into the output as you can see i've got the all the characters before the at the rate sign now similarly to this particular question what if i want to extract the domain name from the email what if i want to extract the characters after the at the rate sign so what should be solution of uh, this particular problem 
so there may might be condition where some of the email id is from gmail some of the email ids are from yahoo so this would be a very potential problem to solve and i want to get the you know the characters from the domain name so i'll be using the same let us use the same uh table here to do to solve this particular problem to extract the domain name uh we have used here left let us use here right correct and from the right hand side i want to get the character so this won't work so what actually will work here is getting the length of the email here and subtracting this with the character index of the at the red sign so this would work something like let's say the number of characters present into the total email id is eight and the total characters i'll just write here total characters and the at the red sign is present at the you know four at let's say at five so I want to get the number of characters or the characters after the at the rate sign. So it's basically from the right hand side, even I'm fetching the number of characters, number of characters, which I would want will be something like eight minus five. I hope uh, this is clear. I'll explain this with an example. So the total number of characters, let's say is eight. So so this is the email id and the total number of factors as you can see here which is present here is uh, i think it's seven so let me add one more so this has now become eight so four plus four eight and the add the rate sign is present at the character index of five as you can see so if I want to grab the characters after the at the rate sign, so basically the number of characters which I would want from the right hand side would be 8 minus 5, which is 3. That is absolutely correct. Let's move to our SQL Server Management Studio and let's apply this particular logic and I'll execute this particular command and you can see I'm getting the output. Okay, so I would like to remove the at the rate sign here. And you can see after at the rate, whatever character is present here, I'm getting into the output. So this is how we get the domain name from the email or from any website. So one problem here, what let's say you can comment down your solution into the comment box of this particular video. So what if I want to grab the characters after the dot? So let's say after dot, there would be XYZ website. Uh, MNC website, ABC website. So I want you to put down your answers into the comment box of how do we proceed with the solution where I want to grab the characters after the dot. So don't forget to share your solutions there. Let us move to the next problem. And this is the quite interesting and also asked a lot of many times a very, very common interview question here into the sequel. So we have a set of data points here and we want to know employees who are earning more than their managers i have pasted the same data set into my excel sheet and i will do one thing is i'll proceed with the solution so basically i have the data set here how do we proceed with the solution so the way we proceed is using a very important tool into the sql which is the self join we will join the table with itself to get the solution now you will tell me Ashtar, so how do we proceed with self join self join works in a to a very similar way as the normal join works so basically into the normal join you are having table one table two you are joining both the tables into this particular uh self join you are just having one table and you are you can just consider table two as just the same table and you are joining like the same way onto the rele relevant columns of course so i'm having this particular table and i'll join with this i want to what column i'll be joining this particular uh table with this so i'll be joining onto the basis of 
let us say this is the table a and this is the table b so i'll be joining onto the basis of the if into the into the into the table a i'll be considering the column which will be the manager id okay i'll just write here like this and into the table b i'll be just writing where a dot manager id is equal to b dot id so in this case what do you think what will be the output when i'll be joining this so you can see here three will be joined with this three so i'll just produce the output and four will be joined here with this particular four since into the manager id column i cannot find one and two so i won't get any output for one and two and if i'll do an inner join both of these rows will be also vanished so i'll remove the data from here there are the manager name here is the manager salary so now it's pretty much easy to solve basic condition which i would want here is the manager salary should be greater than the salary which rows satisfy this particular condition and you can see the only row which sat satisfy this condition is the first row so 70,000 is greater than 60,000 so friends this is how we have solved this particular problem and let us replicate the same logic here what we have discussed so i'll write here select let us get the entire columns a dot salary a dot manager id comma b dot so from b what do we want b generally want to get the manager name and the manager salary ah uh, that's it so name whether this is the manager name and b dot salary where this is the manager salary i'm just renaming the column so that it is easier for us to read from table to join table two on let us put this as a put this as b and the condition which i applied here i'll copy this from here i'll paste it here put equal to let us execute this particular command let us see what is the output which we are getting okay so i think we need to run code for creating the table in the table has been inserted let us execute this particular command let us execute this particular query and you can see we've got the output we have got the relevant output here and the final condition which we applied here to get this particular row something like where a dot salary is greater than b dot salary let us execute this command and you can see we have got the, the details of the employee who is earning more than the manager so 70,000 is greater than 60,000 so basically Joe is earning more than his manager that's it that is how we have solved the problem of employee earning more than their managers a very high chance that you'll be asked to solve this particular questions into the, your initial screening round so I hope this particular concept or this particular uh, problem has helped you into getting an insight on how to solve this question let us move to the last question and to this particular video so employees who are not managers what do you think what should be the logic here this is pretty much straightforward the table only is pretty much straightforward to answer this particular question so the employees who are not managers how do we get the details basically wherever we have null basically those people those employees such as sam and max they don't have any managers so they are at the highest level and because joe and henry they have a manager so they are at the lower level so 
we can write a query which will be something like select star from the table where manager id is not null and we'll get the answer so i'll just write here select star from table to where manager id is not null so that's it let us execute the command here and we'll get into the output where all the employees were not managers so this was it uh, this is the very frequently asked questions into the sql i'll be bringing a lot of many videos into the same concept and i will be solving a lot of many generally frequently asked questions into the sql so till then keep practicing keep watching my videos keep following the project uh, portfolio projects videos onto my channel and don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye